Good morning, hot dogs. Welcome back to the morning announcements. Esports, weather, sports, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Esports call out meeting is today after school, so if you're interested in joining, come see Mr. Bacon for the meeting in the collaboration space right after school. If you cannot make it, make sure to contact Mr. Bacon. For anyone interested in working crew for the theater, there will be a call out next Tuesday, September 21st the th in the theater. After school, the meeting will be this short, but we will be discussing about available positions, schedules, and expectations. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Now to sports and weather. Good morning, hot dogs. Someone told me it was cool this morning, and they were right. This morning, the temperature was 61 degrees. Today's high will be lower than yesterday, being at 77 degrees. Later tonight, the temperature will drop down into the low 60s. That's it for the weather. Now to sports with Elijah. Last night, the Frank Rowe Hot Dogs hosted the Mounties of Southmont in conference play. Frankfurt started the game sluggish, but managed to take a 3-1 lead into halftime with goals from sophomore Julian Lewis, senior Yobai Tornado, and sophomore Gail Hernandez. Frankfurt came out of the halftime much more energized and scored an early second half goal when senior Damian Lopez assisted senior Yobai Tornado's goal. Strikers Gail Hernandez and senior Jose Balderas found the back of the net before Yobai Tornado completed his hat trick for the night with the final goal of the night. The Frankfurt defense compromise of juniors Marcos Garcia, Kevin Ramos, and senior Edwin Mejia, Hernan Hernandez, Daniel Garcia, and Christian Cruz kept the Mounties shut out in the second half. Senior keeper Alex Campos and sophomore No Angeles Share the clean sheet in the second half. The Hot Dogs are now 5 and 4 on season and 3 and 1 conference play. Frankfurt travels Covington for their invitational on Saturday. Eli Grasham and Elijah West had a terrific match with powerful ground strokes and smart net play. This 1D team has been working so hard at creating the right double at the right play, correct ground stroke and court movement. And tonight, as our one single and two single finish out, they're extremely close matches as darkness fell, literally. Jake, Sim Jake Swinford found very hard to come back in the second set and force his match into a third set. Although he dropped the third set, Jake got himself in the right position to win the match by grinding out each point. Edwin Wainscott also need headlights to complete his match. Edwin has shown a lot of growth with patience by hitting solid ground strokes and making adjustments to compete against his opponents. There is no doubt Edwin was physically exhausted, but he just found a bit more in gas tank to grab the win. Next match will be at Carroll on the 15th at 5 p.m. Reminder to get your red, white, and hot dog blue in the comments against Lemnon this Friday night. That's it for sports. Now back to your hosts. Make sure to fill out the DECA survey you got in your email to have a chance to win a free bag of cookies. Make sure to stop by during passing period to get your cookies. DECA has M&M, chocolate chip, and double fudge cookies available for sale. One bag has two cookies for $1. Each year, the Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation awarded 150 college scholarships worth $20,000 to high school students across the United States through the Coca-Cola Scholars Program. Students need a 3.0 GPA and to fill out an application that requires no essays, no recommendations, and no transcripts by October 31st, 2021 at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's all for today's announcements. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more. We hope everyone has a rest, great, and amazing day.